Hello all, welcome to Tech with SAS. In this series of REST Web Services, till now I have covered various basic concepts of REST and how we can design the REST URIs and importance of HTTP methods. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the REST methods like uh, get, post, put, delete, and a few others. So let's start on that. So if I'm, I think now you are aware that whatever the URLs or URIs we use in REST web services, they are like resource based. So like this uh, URI here, like uh, collections messages class one two three four five six is uh is referring a message in the collection of messages uh, whose ID is one two three four five six right. So now uh, if we want to perform the various actions, so now you know okay this is my address or my URL or URI, but if you want, if I want to retrieve some messages from the server, update it, create new message, or delete it. So, what are the various options or methods available? So, we have like uh, get, put, post, delete. They are like uh, most popular methods uh, which are used uh, frequently. There are few more methods like head and options. So, they are not very popular and not used too much. But we'll discuss them uh, later. So let's understand uh, each method one by one, uh, its properties and how it is applied to the REST URIs. Now, uh, earlier we used to have like uh, method uh, URIs like action URIs, right? Like get messages. So there are some action, uh, and then we pass the ID in a query parameter. But it's not a correct way in, in the REST world. We use the resource URIs as we discussed, right? So now if you want to uh, get some message, uh, you have to use uh, this URI like the slash messages, slash one, two, three, four, five, and use the get method. Similarly, if you want to delete a message, uh, you have to utilize the REST way of using the uh, resource-based URIs and uh, use the read method, right? So this is the uh, fundamental way uh, in which we are using the REST uh, URIs and their corresponding methods. Now let us uh, look uh, these methods one by one. Now in your uh, message application, if you want to get a message, right? Then what will you do? you have to use the get message, get method basically. So get method is used to retrieve data from the server using the URI. Like URI here is a, a slash messages a slash message ID. So there we can pass, suppose uh, you want to have a client and who want to retrieve uh, the messages or message uh, from a server, then uh, he has to send a get method and pass the correct URI. Suppose uh, he want to get a message uh, with ID as five, then send the method of HTTP as get and with the URI as messages slash five. So after you send this uh, method and uh, this URI to server, it will look up resources uh, from its database or whatever resources it has and send back the corresponding response in the message body back to the client. So whenever we want to retrieve a message and we have the corresponding message ID, we have to use the get method, right? Next is uh, now uh, suppose uh, you want to update any message. Suppose there is uh, some message uh, which you want to edit or update uh, to because of some uh, something maybe okay some requirement is there. So normally people also use post method, but it is not correct. The best or correct way uh, when whenever you want to update a message is used to is use basically a put method. So whenever you want to update a message, use the uh, put uh, method, and then 
whatever the message ID you want to update, you can pass uh, in the uh, in the URI. But the actual message, the actual actual content will be passed uh, in the message body of the uh, of the your HTTP request. So similarly, uh, we can say suppose a client want to update any message, uh, then uh, he has to pass the uh, send the put method uh, and with the corresponding message uh, message ID in the collections uh, URI. And then whenever uh, this uh, server will receive this message ID uh, and the put uh, put uh, direction, it will update uh, that particular uh, particular message and it will uh, update it basically. So here you can see that whatever uh, the client has sent uh, this message uh, slash five as a URI put as a method of the HTTP and the new message. So now you can see that white file which we saw earlier, it is gone out. Now we have a new message and which we are going to update in the, our server. So to update resources, we have to use the put method. Now uh, the delete is very uh, self-explanatory. Uh, so whenever you want to delete any message, uh, similarly uh, you have to uh, use delete message, delete method. And then uh, similarly, you have to pass the corresponding message ID, then read method and send it to the uh, client and to delete that uh, particular message uh, from the uh, from the server or your resources. So yeah, so delete is uh, one of the uh, method which, which you have to use very uh, careful, uh, being very careful. So whatever uh, messages or whatever methods or URIs you want to expose to the client, right? You need to be careful. You have to be very mindful that whatever URIs you are designing uh, and exposing it, they should be in such a way that application is not impacted. Because if you expose uh, a, a method, right, which deletes all the messages, then it's going to be a disaster. So whatever URIs we have to design in rest world, uh, we have to be very, very uh, careful and then expose them to the clients. Now, uh, suppose uh, you want to create a new message, a new resource in the database or server. So the best way is to use is the uh, post method. And so whenever you want to create a message, use a post method, and then you have to uh, pass the URI. Now, the, the, the big question here is that whenever we want to create a new message, in our uh, database, uh, we don't have the ID handy because when the request will receive by the application, it's going to generate new ID uh, by itself. So a client cannot send, okay, uh, for this new resource, I want particular ID. So for the any creating a message and whenever you are using a post method, you have to just pass the collection URI. You cannot pass the ID because that ID is yet to be created by the application. So for post, met for post methods, we have to pass the collection URI and corresponding data in the, the, the body of the message, uh, basically. So suppose a client want to uh, create a new message or resource in the application server, then uh, they have to pass uh, the corresponding collection URI and then post uh, method defined in that uh, message and then uh, they have to pass the actual body content which will be used to create a new resource. So that will be passed to the uh, server. After server receives uh, this, uh, these messages, uh, it will create, a, create a, a new ID and that will be sent back to the client because uh, if client has client want to create a new message ID, it requires uh, the corresponding ID uh, sent back because without it getting the ID back, it cannot do any further operations like uh, retrieve the message or delete the message or update the message. So in post method, uh, we just pass the collection URI and then 
uh, the server obligation to create uh, create that resource and pass back uh, the uh, ID to the client that will be used by client to uh, further do further operations. So these are the uh, four uh, most popular or most used flood operations uh, uh, HD methods like uh, get, put, post, delete. So in this video, we have uh, discussed the basic idea of uh, how uh, we can utilize them. And in, in this situation, we have to use like out of the three messages, we have to use the get or uh, to update the message. We have to use the put to get a message. We have to use the post. And so uh, this is like a basic idea. And now I think you can appreciate the beauty of REST. How it is uh, seamlessly uh, performing its action without complicating the user's URL. So, in a very simplified manner, users uh, can interact with the uh, backend application and do the processing as per uh, their need. So, uh, that's it uh, for this uh, video. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, see you next time. Uh, please leave comments or questions and please subscribe as well. Thank you.